Okay, so this one I'm gonna tell you guys about how to avoid crumpling your paper when you're erasing. It's something that I see happening quite often in my studio and I can tell you that it's really heartbreaking at certain times when it happens because you can have worked on a drawing for you know 40 hours and then all of a sudden you've crumpled your paper while you're erasing it. So let's look at the page. I've got some smudges to show you and I'm gonna show you some ways that you can avoid crumpling your paper. Okay, so here I've got a sketch going on. It's of a bunny. <clears throat> you can see that there's some smudges all the way around where I've kind of beat it up a little bit while I've been working on it or I've rested my hand on it and I've smudged. So um, first thing is that I think that using a solid eraser, one of these plastic white erasers can work. However, sometimes that's gonna smear your smudges even more. So I'm gonna switch to my kneaded eraser or my gummy eraser. <clears throat> the next thing, and this is the most important part, oftentimes when people are erasing, you're putting a lot of pressure on your page and you're erasing in particular directions that are gonna permit the crumpling to happen. So you don't wanna permit the crumpling to happen. And in order to do that, you have to go from a stable area, which is the center of your page, towards a loose edge, which is the outer edge of your page. You never wanna go from a loose edge here towards the center of your page. That's when the crumpling action happens. And once your paper is crumpled, you can do nothing really to get it to flatten out again. The paper has a memory and it's gonna stay in that crumpled position. So instead of going from a loose edge in, you always wanna brace your page and go from a stable area out. So I'm gonna drag my eraser from a stable area out towards the edges and then I can rotate my page if I need to. I'm gonna try to avoid placing my hand on the drawing that I've done. And you can see again, I'm going from the stable center part towards the outer edge. I'm never going from this side in. Even if I'm bracing it, that's going to enable my page to crumple and I wanna avoid that at all costs. So I'm gonna rotate around, go from a stable side out to the outer edge and get all those crumbles to come off. <clears throat> or uh, smudges, really. They're not crumbles because I'm not using my regular white plastic eraser. So stable to unstable. And you can see I'm smudging it some more where I've put my hand down. And there I just broke my rule. See how easy it is to do it? I went from an unstable edge to a stable edge. And that's going to give me potential chaos Okay, so let's try again. We've got another one. <clears throat> you wanna go from stability to instability. So I'm gonna go from the center to the outer edge. I'm gonna go from the center to the outer edge. See how I was almost tempted to go from that outer edge down because it was easier without rotating my page. <clears throat> Instead, you always wanna go from the more stable area to the outer area so that you're not gonna crumple it. So with that really simple rule, going from the stable to the unstable, your stability is going to move towards your unstability, <clears throat> your instability. If you go from your instability in towards your stable, it's gonna bring chaos into your stable area. So that's gonna always be um, at risk of crumpling your paper. So hopefully this will help you guys out and you won't ruin any projects that you really care about. Thank you all so much for watching. More videos are coming soon, so if you wish to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and do that. And also you can check out my website, lzmstudio.com.